Hey guys, Phil Swart here from Creative Effects. I've got a really quick tip for you today just to show you how to do some rotoscoping using Mocha Pro. And this can really speed up your rotoscoping process. But what I'm going to do first of all, now that I'm in Mocha, is I'm just going to click on a new project and choose to import my clip. I'm just going to check the settings here. So it's a HD clip and under advanced. I'm just going to make sure that I cache that clip just to make it run a bit quicker. Okay, I've made that project before, so I'm just overwritten that. Okay, so here I've got some footage, and what I'd like to do is just, you know, just do a bit of rotoscoping here on the microphone. So what I'm first of all going to do, if I just zoom in here, is create a really rough Bezier curve just around the microphone. And what Mock is going to do now is it's going to try to track this. So if I just click to track forward, you can see now Mocha is tracking this using the planar tracking method. Okay, so once I've done that now, if I just click play, you can see how to track that. So what I'm going to do here for this layer is I'm just going to rename that to microphone track. And I'm just going to turn this off here just so it doesn't try to track it again if I click the track button. And I'm just going to hide it for a minute. And what I'll do again now is just draw another shape. So I'll zoom in here. And this isn't going to be a rotoscoping class. I'm not trying to show you how to do, sort of rotoscope and shapes and things. I'm just going to show you a really quick example of tracking with Mocha. So I'm just going to do some really bad roto just to sort of show you the point. Okay, let's just do that. Just line it up a little bit. Just like that. That would do for demonstration. And what I'll do there is just call this microphone. And if you click on microphone here and you click on link track two, if you change that to microphone track, it's now going to use the microphone track that we did before. And if I now click on play, you can see how that takes the track and applies it to the rotor. So you can see very quickly now if I take another shape and I just do some more crude rotor. I've got a new shape here. If I do the same thing, link to track, and I click on microphone track, and I'll just do another one to show you. So again, really nasty rotor. Same thing again, link to track, uh, microphone track. So if I play that now, you can see there how quickly you can build up some nice rotor. Obviously, you need to refine your rotor a bit. Right, so to bring your rotor into Nuke, what you need to do is first of all make sure that you're on the track tab down here so just the track one and then just click on any one of your roto layers and click on export shape data and the first thing you need to do is just make sure that this drop down box is on uh, nuke roto and once you've done that you can either bring them each individually into nuke using the selected layer here or just do all visible layers which is what I'm going to do because all my roto are visible. If I just click now copy to clipboard and then go straight into nuke. And if I just control V to paste or just click on edit and paste. And what I'm going to do now is bring up my roto. And then as you can see, if I play that, it just brings the roto very easily back into nuke. So this is a very straightforward tutorial literally just to show you how to use Mocha and the planar tracking it has to speed up your roto workflow. Now you could use this to do tracking on the face, you could use it to do tracking on so many different things as long as there's some sort of plane to track. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always please subscribe and follow on the Facebook fan page and Twitter as well. See you guys next time.